<laughs> it was a full game! <laughs> you suit my approval, dude. I understand. Oh my god! I like how I didn't record a live reaction to the final battle of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I actually did a live reaction for the whole cloud cross-dressing thing. But I just felt like that was a big deal. Don't judge me. Bro, bro, bro. I, I know, I absolutely know that I told myself I wasn't going to do a recording of any more playthroughs because I said this on Twitter. You know, I'm actually tired of playthroughs because, like, because of playthroughs, like, that literally interferes with my ability to really enjoy this game. But, dude, this part I have to record! Oh my god, I'm like, yo, this is the part I was very interested in seeing. Look at you, all dolled up in Oh, no. Where are you at tonight? Look how the city reacts to the characters. Maybe I should shatter up. Oh my god, hold up. Put a remote at. Look at you. That's a handsome couple. Ah, you. Now, I told myself I wasn't. I'm telling you, man, they... Ooh! <gasps> oh my god! The people reacting to them! Hey there, cutie! Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? This is just... Dude! Like... Are already wowed out at the fact that like they the way the city interacts with them, dude. This is the little things that makes this game stand out. Time to go. Why are we here? Uh oh. To see the honeybee ends, Andrea Rodin, and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's mm -hmm. help, you can join me. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? <laughs> no can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. <laughs> So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? I swear, it was hilarious. I love her in this game. Oh, she's like, you're gonna love it. Whether you like it or not. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. To the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? Ooh. The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. This game's wild! <laughs> I'm going to the stage, boy! <laughs> and here's the man of the hour, oh God. chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Oh, she looking saucy. <laughs> this is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves oh first? Oh my God. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's the day! <laughs> How is that this? Delicious. Delicious. Perfection. Oh my god. How was that dancing? <laughs> Definitely not good. <laughs> you, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Uh, <laughs> this is wow. No way, dude. Oh my God! What? Oh my goodness! Okay, thank you. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this. He's <laughs> like, Lord, no. They're like, no. They ain't making sure you get it in. <laughs> oh, the pressure's on. <laughs> oh, crap, Cloud, you gotta do it. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. This guitar hero <laughs> Think you can follow my lead. Oh my goodness. Oh no. What the <laughs> Oh what the heck? Alright. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What the freak? They kind of blocked the way. Oh my goodness. I can't. Oh lord. What? <laughs> too distracted. Oh my goodness. 
timing is weird. Oh, it is so weird. What the heck? I'm so distracted by this. I'm trying to watch this cutscene. Oh my god, I can't. It is so hard. <laughs> okay. So I guess it's when it shines that you press it. I'm kind of dumb. Oh, I don't think I'm doing too good though. Okay, I guess when I get that. Okay, I'm hitting it now. Got to end this strong. Oh, crap. Okay. He getting it though. Wow. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, I'm so oof. Well, you tried. What do you mean you tried? <laughs> what do you mean I tried? Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Oh, now, Lord. without further ado, let us begin. Oh, Lord. A live makeup session? Oh, my God. Extreme makeover! Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. They're done already. <laughs> you are bored for us. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Ah. Uh, can't. Oh my god, bro, this is gonna love that. <laughs> Cloud is like, oh, heck no. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh my god. A thing without shape, to which notions of gender don't apply. Oh, Dang, bro. You better hope that's not video recorded, bro. Oh my god. That show today blew my mind. Blew my man. <laughs> Cloud is out of there, boy. Did you see their look of surprise? Moved with quickness. Oh, he's so embarrassed. <laughs> I just had to show that part, dude. I just had to show that part. I knew I was going to lose my mind. That was too hilarious for me, man. I had to do it. Had to do it. I know I said I didn't want to do any recordings, but I, I had to do that one. I had to do that one. Dude. Square Enix. This had to be... This game I've been having so much fun with. And I, I feel as though Square Enix... This has to be one of the best decisions that they made in a long time in terms of actually making 
the Final Fantasy VII Remake or Reality. Now, here's the thing that I will say about Final Fantasy VII the Remake. You know, of course, the situation that they're in right now, you know, the little controversy or whatever, the fact that they're chopping the game up in the episodes or volumes, whatever you want to call it, it's probably more than likely that's not the most desirable thing um, for them to do but at the same time I understand why they did it because this one disc alone this one segment of the game is over 80 gigabytes worth of space freaking imagine the entire game being made it would be a ginormous game. As a matter of fact, it probably would take them 10 to 20 times more time to get this game out, for all we know. Um, especially with the technology that they have now. Um, so, I mean, like, I understand it, why they did it, I get it. It'd be like they'll be able to get the game out faster if they do it in parts. And one of the tough things about video gaming is the fact that we don't know um, what's at stake because we're not game developers. There are time schedules that they have to keep. There are barriers. There are agendas that has to be like that has to be accomplished. So. I mean, all I can say about this game is <clears throat> is they put in the effort. Just by playing this remake, I don't care what the purists say, I understand that. Like, I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy VII myself, um, but me personally, I love what they did. They put a lot of care into this game. All the subtleties from the look of the game, the way the backgrounds look, to the fact that the people, there are people in Midgar. Midgar is alive. Every part of Midgar is alive. You've got all of these different discussions going on people interacting with the characters, how the crowd interacted, the crowd of people interacted with Cloud and Aerith um, during the battle at the Colosseum, like after the battle of the Colosseum. Everything with this game is just freaking good, man. I can't deny it. That's all I can say about that, guys. They did a phenomenal job. Now, would I do a playthrough of this game, like a total playthrough? Not really. Especially for people that don't have the game. If I was to do a playthrough of this game, it would probably be more than likely when I finish playing the game for myself first before I ever decide to do any kind of playthrough because I want to enjoy the experience first to its fullest before I start doing a let's play of this game at all. You know, that's just it, the state, state of mind I'm in right now. Um, if I'm going to make videos, I'm going to make videos that have purpose. And I don't feel like Let's Plays or Playthroughs really have much of a purpose on YouTube anymore, especially with the way the algorithm is now. It's like content creators that are well off, you know, like big content creators that has a large following to the point where they would watch anything that they put out. You know, they're the ones that can actually get away with doing Let's Plays and playthroughs because they have the, the audience for it. Then on top of that, YouTube is supporting their content. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense for channels that isn't necessarily well off 
to try and rely on hype games when it comes to growing on YouTube because that junk doesn't work. Back in the day, it was to the point where you can, you know, uh, make one video go viral and then the rest of your channel kind of like takes off, but it really doesn't work like that anymore. Not at, during this day, day and age. Like, back in the day when YouTube was actually stable, yes, you could grow significantly. Uh, proof of this was back when I used to do anime content with Burning Blood. I actually did really well with that game uh, back when it was alive and relevant. You know, my channel was literally thriving off that back then, but nowadays that stuff really doesn't apply that much. I guess it would with the hype games like anime games like my hero one's justice 2 or whatnot but even that can be a bit of a struggle at times because there's a lot that goes into it it's not just about playing the hype game it's about certain things and due to my situation there are some things that i just can't do um, especially me being a family friendly channel that kind of like puts a lot of puts a huge damper on what needs to be done when creating anime content because if you know the community you're aware of the mannerisms of the community you know what appeals to them um, if you're not able to act on that to the fullest, then there's going to be a bit of a standstill in regards to that. So, yeah, that's about it for that.